Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got quite a bit to cover. There's yet another volcano taking a seismic swarm. We've got two pre-earthquake signal studies. We're announcing a new free service for everyone. We've got space weather and solar biological forcing as we begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Very quiet up there, not so much here at Earth. We'll come back to that momentarily, but right now the sunspots are lacking high complexity and size. Minor to moderate flaring is the max expectation for today. It may be the plasma filaments that provide more of a show. Thin dark ropes you see here wiggling in the corona are the top eruption threat today. Now, before we cover the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions, we're off to Mount Spur in Alaska, about 90 minutes drive from Anchorage where a seismic swarm is ongoing beneath the mountain, suggesting an eruption may be imminent. That makes this just one of several important volcanoes on alert due to seismic swarming activity. There's Santorini in Greece, Campi Flegri has been above average for a while in Italy, and the East African Rift kicked off 2025 with a super swarm in Ethiopia. Now, Alaska's in the mix as well. Quick look at pre-seismic signals, the electromagnetic warning that earthquakes give before the shaking starts. Atmospheric electricity is in the mix as usual, but there's a heavy focus on the ULF and VLF. Those are the magnetic changes in the system before the big rumble. Interestingly, these are the same frequencies at which they reverberate when we take impact from a solar storm. But we'll come back to those ULF reverberations as well. Right now, Folks, yesterday we released the first article of the AI for Good project. The idea is to make the lives of people in the alternative news and science world easier. I picked autism treatment to begin. So many claims, vitamins, detox, EMF, which ones have the most success with parents, which ones in a lab setting. Some topics feel like there's just too much information. Not anymore. Welcome to AI for Good. Articles will be posted to my Twitter, at SunWeatherMan, hosted by SpaceWeatherNews.com. I really hope you guys caught Sunday's video, or at least have been around long enough to hear me repeatedly beating the drum about how much more vulnerable Earth is to solar activity in the midst of this magnetic pole shift. Folks, the baby version happened overnight once again. This time it was a nothing event in the solar wind, a slight turning of the magnetic field angle embedded within it, but the slight change opened a mega crack in the polar cusp. Plasma poured into the Earth system, driving aurora down to mid-latitude. Shouldn't be happening, we are on that downward spiral. Lastly, folks, excellent study confirming that heart rates sink to geomagnetic activity. I told you we'd come back to those ULF reverberations from Earth's magnetic field. And when a solar storm reverberates our system, our hearts try to match up with the oscillation and frequency of the planet. At Observer Ranch, there's a conference coming this weekend. Go ahead and check out our events page, Observer Bot, books, merchandise, and of course, book your reservation to come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.